Oh, I was not expecting you. Hello everyone. You've seen my house tour. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing here? You could be watching my house tour. I'll link it down below. So, I'm gonna be showing you my room tour. So this is my room in my house that I have a house tour of. So, if you haven't seen the house tour, then you don't know, but I am leasing this house with three other sorority girls. We're in college right now, and so this is just the room that I'm renting while I'm here. It's a palace, in my opinion, and I love living here and all that good stuff. But while you're watching this, I'm actually going to be on a ship sailing away in the middle of the ocean. So I'm actually pre-recording this. So right now, um, my friend Hannah is living in this room, which is so weird to think about, but while you're watching this, it is I here, still living here the last couple weeks, but I'll be back after I go abroad. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the meantime. This is my bed, got it for cheap from a girl who graduated last year and was trying to get rid of it, so it was nice. The comforter is from Walmart. This pillow my mom got for me for Christmas last year. Olaf is my one true love. So cute. These other decorative pillows are from society6.com. I had them in my last apartment last year. This pillow came with Walmart. This K I got from Anthropology last year. I think it's so nice because it kind of like ties in color to my mostly white room. My nightstand is from Ikea. It literally took five minutes to put together and it was probably like $5, so it was a great deal. I have a nice little ampersand light. Ta-da! And of course, a frozen little tumbler. Down here, I have a little space heater that reminds me of Barney because it's a perfect purple shade. This is my hat. It's the only hat I own, but it's really cute, so it's fine. <laughs> These are my two Disney ears. I go to Disneyland a lot because I go to college at Chapman University, so I live pretty close. These are Christmas. Oh, shit. <laughs> These are my silver ears. They speak for themselves. But yeah, I kind of use them as decor while I'm not wearing them. <laughs> but usually I'm wearing them because usually I'm at Disneyland. Canvas that I made. I don't know. I was kind of experimenting with this like confetti stuff I had last year. And I don't really think it turned out that good um, <laughs> because the letters are kind of like messy. But this is actually something my big and my sorority made me for spoils week my freshman year. I think it's so cool and creative. The way with the nails and the thread. Needles and the thread, gotta get, get you out of my head. An Orange County sign from Brandy Melville, the basic of the basic because I live in Orange County. If you haven't seen my Thanksgiving video, then you wouldn't know what this is. If you do know what it is, you're in the cool club. This is kind of where I keep bags. This is my school bag. This is my everyday bag. This is Orly's bag. Hey, that's mine. This is a three drawer cheap thing from, I don't even know, probably the container store or something. Um, but I just, well, yeah, it's I was mess. getting so excited. Uh, I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> I just shove like foldable clothes in here and it's probably way overfilled. So like watch. <gasps> yeah, that was, there you go. And then there's just like socks and underwear and stuff. I'm afraid to open them because I don't think I'll get them closed again. But like you get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb ass. This is my closet. I got this decal on Amazon.com and it's probably the best purchase for my room that I've made. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I love metallic gold and I obviously love the world because you know, I live here so. I thought you were gonna say, as you can tell because I'm going abroad to 11 <laughs> countries, but I mean you also do live in the world. Comment below if you live in the world too. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a <laughs> member of the earth. It's kind of messy so I'm sorry. Mm. Um, yes, so on this side it's just all hanging clothes. I kind of have like dresses, skirts, and things I don't wear as often up here. Like big jackets because it's too freaking hot here to wear those. And then down here I just have things that I wear a lot more. It's not really very organized. I tried to organize in the beginning of the year, but I kind of lost it, so oh well. Up here, I just keep bags. There's bags in bags and bags in here, and bags in this bin of bags and bags of bins. In this bin, I have a bunch of sweaters that I don't need. Why do I do this to myself? And in here, I have a bunch of bottoms and pants and things that I don't wear as much. On this shelf, it's not very organized. In the bag, I kind of have extra sheets, and then I just keep things I wear a lot, like sweats. And then I brought these from home because it's almost Christmas, so I don't really have a place for them. But <laughs> Christmas sweaters and socks. This is a toolkit that my dad forced me to buy freshman year, and I was like, Dad, I don't know how to use tools, but I learned. These drawers are from the container store, and I honestly don't. This is mostly pants, leggings, camisoles, and they kind of stick out from this so this door doesn't really close all the way but it's close <laughs> enough so in here i have a lot of tank tops and like sleep shirts and such down here are some of my shoes they're kind of just thrown in there the other day was my sorority semi-formal and when i got back i discovered that this happened to my shoe i don't know how or why but at tom's <sighs> okay um oh, 
gosh. <laughs> this is everyone that was in my sorority last year. We are family, am I right? These Velcro things, there was a mirror hanging on this when I moved in. Um, but like two months into my living here, I opened the door and found it broken on the ground. So, not the mirror, the frame was broken. But instead, I put the mirror right here. This chair actually belongs to my roommate Sierra, but she didn't have a place for it in her room. So she's like, yeah, sure, keep it in your room. So it kind of ties in the hot pink pillow that I have. So this is probably my favorite part of the room is my desk area. This desk, my mom and I built. There's a vlog of that too, moving in. Um, this is from Ikea and it's actually broken, this thing. Watch this. Oh, oh there it goes. How did this happen? This gold thing's from Target. I just keep random things in it, like memory cards, necklaces, headphones. And then this is my laptop. All the stickers are from redbubble.com, except this kite one. I honestly don't know where that's from. These are just some decor things. I made this and this with gold leaf, which I have tutorials on that from the summer. I think these flowers add so much. This is my mirror in which I do my makeup. It lights up my friend's headphones. Ah! Nice desk lamp for pretending to do homework. Some pictures. There's me, Meredith, and Orly from BeautyCon this summer. And then this is me, Kennedy, and Chloe from retreat last year. I have a few old Polaroids put on the strand of lights here just because I think it adds a lot, you know, the desk area. This chair is from the container store. To me, it looks like something that would be in an old person's shower, but you know, it fits with the room, so it's fine. Fun fact about my room is it actually was originally a porch. It was outdoors. So my landlord decided to make it a sunroom by enclosing it. And so these windows used to go to the outside, but now they just go to my roommate McKenna's room. So we have blinds in between to pretend it's a wall. This little stand, my parents got a bed bath and beyond when I was a freshman. And on top, I just have some Theta letters with gold leaf again, my favorite. Day. This is my Polaroid. I actually haven't used it in a long time. I really should take Polaroids again. But um, then I have a Bluetooth speaker here and a freaking flower crown from Coachella, basic bitch problems. Again. And then on this shelf, I just have all my nail polishes in the back. The little organizers are from the container store and they're super helpful because then I can see all my nail polishes. The box on the left is my pin box that my big painted for me when I was a freshman and I got my pin in Theta. And um, next to it is the easy button. That was easy. Hell yeah. A couple of miscellaneous things like stapler and scissors and tripod. And then over there is my DSLR camera tucked in the corner. And then on this edge is my makeup collection. Face stuff, lip stuff, eye stuff, roughly. A lot of stuff. And up here I have some palettes that I access quite a bit. All these organizers, the palettes, the makeup collection, and where I have my hair tools and my brushes here, these are all from the container store. I just have straightener, curler, brushes, um, eyelash curler, got some Q-tips, couple Q brush. This desk here I got for free from this girl who's graduating, who we got all our living room furniture from. She's like, yeah, we just want to get rid of this. So I took it and it actually worked out perfectly because like it's nice to have a bunch of stuff on this part of the desk and have this one as a workspace. So it's perfect little L shape. Underneath the desk, I have some crafting supplies, sorority girl problems and garbage can. Okay, this is my TV stand. Again, the stand came from a girl in my sorority who graduated. This is my TV, it's Vizio, got it from Costco. I'm not gonna go into these things, but I just use these to organize. I'm pretty sure these are from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I have like some electronics and cords in this one. They're kind of a mess. These are some decorations I made in the summer with gold leaf. I made a video on that. Random stuff, including SpongeBob party hats. What more could a girl need? This shoe stand of shoes that I use a lot more than the ones in the closet. So again, this is the same stand that's on my desk from Bed Bath & Beyond. The best is yet to come comes from TJ Maxx, I believe. And this good vibe sign was in my apartment last year and I brought it here. I got it at Urban Outfitters and I think it's just so cute. Here I have a full length mirror that I brought with me. I'm pretty sure this is Bed Bath & Beyond. And when we go through door number one, <gasps> it's my bathroom. Hello. Hi. So yeah, I just have a half bath and then the other bathroom in the house has the shower. So we all share that. A subscriber made me that Hey Girl Hey sign when I went to Chicago, I think, um, back in 2013, which was super sweet. It's Christmas time now, so I'm using that. But when you're watching this, it's probably freaking like February or something. I'm gonna close the door on myself, but on Goodbye. the back door, I have jackets. Can I come out? No. We're gonna fire through the stuff back here. This isn't even like considered my room, I don't think. I think of this area as like the mud room of my room, but my laundry basket, suitcase, couple rolly carts where I have a coffee maker that I don't use because we have two in the kitchen, laundry stuff, Olaf cup, 
fish oil gummy, not very Ew. good. Okay, so this was my room. I hope you enjoyed watching my room tour. Thumbs up this video if you liked any part of this room, and you should like at least part of it because I'm in it. Make sure to subscribe by clicking the red button down below to see all my future videos for free. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Okay, bye. <laughs>